Hello Aries. It looks like nothing but change is coming into your life. And with that, someone new. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello everyone, welcome in. This is an Aries Tarot reading. It is a general reading, usually between two energies. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. I apologize for the setup. I am traveling at this time and there are sounds that I have no control over. <laughs> There's an upstairs neighbor that looks that sounds like a stampeding giant at random times. So heads up on that. I have no control over it. And there's a cute little doggy in the house with me. So if you hear the little, that's her. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's get into this. Make the grade with flying colors. Number 32 reduced to a five. Remember, you signed up for this. And you hold the key to an awakened life. Yes, you do. Number 41, also a five. Set yourself free. So a huge change cycle for you guys. Huge. Nothing but change for you guys. Hmm. There's a lot of healing there in store that's very, very important to embrace, as challenging as it may be, because it's, it's setting you up to win. And not in the distant future. It's actually close. The win is closer than you think. Okay, um, there's like rest is key here, not just physical, but mental, emotional rest is key here. Show me what's going on with Aries, please. Show me what's going on with Aries. Show me what's going on with Aries, please. Oh, tower change. Thank you. Sudden or abrupt change. That's Scorpio energy for those keeping track. Show me what's going on with Aries, please. Mm-hmm. It's a whole new world for you guys with the Fool. Starting something brand spanking new. Six of Cups. Eight of Swords. Ah, Ten of Wands. Four of Swords. King of Swords, that's Aquarian energy. Five of Cups. Two of Coins. I'm going to read this set as you, Aries. This is the person you're connecting with. This is the situation. You are meeting a new soulmate. You are new. New soulmate. New. Okay. Because um, this, is, this is, there's a kind of a ghost of Christmas past here of a connection where the masculine, which is, I'm getting it as this side. Um, the the connection was felt as a burden and they didn't know what to do with it. Okay. But this King of Swords, this is someone new. This is someone new. It's like there's two layers to this. I'm going to read it. I'm going to try to read it one way <laughs> versus multiple ways to kind of see what the general is here. You are in a space of healing. Working on yourself, fixing yourself, getting yourself unstuck and no longer sad, <laughs> okay? The rest, rest is being emphasized here. Rest, peacefulness, okay? What, whatever that means to you to do for yourself, just do it. <laughs> just do it. Hmm. So with this cycle of healing, okay, um, this feels like a a rebuilding of the self. The past version of the self doesn't need to go any further here. Okay. Um, it's very much a transformational Scorpionic sort of energy. Like a very Phoenix-like, let everything burn to ash, be reborn from the ash, move forward. Very much like that here, but uh, not necessarily so dramatic. For someone it might be, never know. Um, this feels like it's been a long time in the making. Okay, like there's been some chiseling away at it, some awareness starting to surface, but then it feels like in the last connection, there's like leaps and bounds of realizations and change. And what this is going to do is make you 
Aries into a more discerning feminine. Okay. There's a lot of things that you will not allow yourself to see anymore. And I mean that in a good way. So if there's, if you weren't choosing well for yourself when it came to a mate, okay, those kinds of choices you would make, you won't even allow yourself to see those anymore. Okay, they're, they're invisible. They're invisible. They, they cannot pass go. Show me the six of cups in this situation, please. The six of cups. Nine of wands, lovers, card of Gemini. Ace of cups. High Priestess, card of Pisces, two of wands, choice point. So there is someone new coming in, a new soul bond coming in, and there's a little bit of gun shyness, of course, about pulling the trigger on furthering this connection for obvious reasons, right? For obvious reasons. But it is the lover's ace of cups, and you know that it is. You know that it is, okay? So there's going to be no delusion here, which is important. You have learned, you have discerned, you understand what this is. Okay. Show me the Eight of Swords for Aries, please. Show me the Eight of Swords. The Moon. Pisces energy. Death. Card of Scorpio. Yes. I hope all the Scorpio energy comes up for you in this spread because it's so much change and transformation. Okay. There's so much under the Moon. Those, those subconscious patterns that have kept you in chains, okay? That's all starting to go away, okay? There's a lot of transmutation of this here, okay? A lot of transmutation of this, okay? Um, if you're one to work with your angels, this is one where I would suggest prayer or meditating into your theta wave state, asking for one of the archangels or your guardian angel to step in and ask for these old patterns to be transmuted in, into heaven, Okay, because then heaven will purify those that energy and those patterns into something pure, right? Um, highly recommend. Always recommend connecting with your angels. That's, that's what they're there for. Um, so it feels a little unstable being without the training wheels of these past patterns. So it's, it feels a little shaky, right? Um, be brave. Take a deep breath forward go. You can do it. Show me the Four of Swords, please. Okay. The Star card of Aquarius. The Wheel again. Magician. Nice. Okay. Okay. This, you're really not going to be the same person anymore, which is good. The point of life is to evolve the soul. Okay. The point of life is to evolve the soul. Um, so anything that goes against that, that wants you to be the same as you've always been, that keeps you in a low place, an, an unevolved place, those things all, and people, they all have to go. Okay. Because as the universe shows you that it's backing you up with this part of your destiny, okay, you start to step into your power more and start to co-create with the universe. Okay, you start to. Okay, good. This is all good. Show me the Five of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. Strength, card of Leo. There you are, sis. Good job. Good job, Queen of Cups. I know that's not your natural energy, but here it's very important because what's this? What this is showing me is that in this process, there's a lot of heart repair. Okay, there's strength being added to the heart space. You're becoming a more resilient human, mentally, emotionally resilient human. Okay. Okay. Um, there's there's a um, something that I was. Um, had a conversation with with friend earlier this morning and they're telling me to share it when it comes to the res it's important to have a resilient heart because it's very easy to fall in love it's very easy to fall in love how many of us have fallen in love with the wrong person how easy was that it was so easy 
Okay. So when you develop a strong heart, okay, you get to consciously choose who it gets to fall for. You get to choose, okay, there's strong compatibility here. Do we really align on our values? Is, is this masculine consistent? Is he caring? Is he kind? Is he, is he the things that I really actually need? It's like, okay, then you can start falling in love. See what I'm saying? Okay. <sighs> Let's get into this person. All right. Let's start with the Ten of Wands, please. Show me what is up with this person. Three of Swords. Seven of Cups. Six of Cups. And so they know what it's like to experience moving on from a soulmate as well. Okay. Completely brokenhearted about it. Confused as to why it could possibly happen with someone with a connection so strong. Okay. Completely confused as to why. It's like if, if it's this feeling, if it's this strength of connection, it's not supposed to end, right? Wrong. Wrong. Just because it's that connection does not mean it's going to last forever. I said what I said. It keeps both people working on the thing, learning the lessons, right? And then growing together, okay? But he's acknowledging moving on from a soul bond. But became overwhelming to the point of heartbreaking for him. Show me the king of swords, please. This Aquarian energy. Good at hiding his pain. Doesn't want to talk about it. Keeps him up at night. So this is fresh. He's got ten of wands and ten of swords to describe this ending. It's quite painful. And it's what he hangs on to. He puts up quite the front. Can you show me some of the reality there? Of this of the what he's keeping to himself? It went up in flames. Tower. Queen of coins. King of coins. This is a marriage. This was a marriage. Magician. Eight of cups. Interesting. He's noting a presto change on her feelings. Like one day they were there and one day they were gone. And when it's, it's almost like someone like cast like not even like a magic spell kind of thing because you because uh, as it's it's a it's a ruse it's coming off as a ruse like she woke up one day and said i don't love you anymore kind of thing when he knows he knows they were happy he knows that's why he's so confused that's why this hurts so much okay we have taurus scorpio pisces energy there oh poor guy so he's hurting he, he his wounds are fresh his wounds are fresh so no need to rush in anything. <laughs> okay. No need. But he could swear up and down. We were happy. I knew, we, did, we did, you know, this, this, and this. And I do this, this, and this for her. And she does this, this, and this for me. And he's just going through everything. Like, I showed up for it. I was there. So what, 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 what happened? Show me the two of coins. Show me the two of coins. He didn't know what to do. The wheel is going to move him, though. Uh-huh. Ah, okay. So there's a bit of a... I can put those three down. It's a bit of a, I don't know what to do. So there's a point there where the wheel starts to... Wheel of Fortune starts to turn the heart. Okay. Helps this masculine shift from his heart space into his head space. That's what needs to happen when things start to get into like divorce mode. It doesn't matter what you feel. You let your mind govern through legal proceedings and da 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 da, da to get you out of their hole. So after all that, you can break down and cry. You know what I mean? Um, so this wheel of fortune that's turning him from his head to his heart, 
he's going to be able to deal with this whole process much better now. Okay. What is he going what truth is he going to see about that relationship that's going to help him process better? Hmm. Okay. Taurus and Libra, Aquarius, Aquarius again. Um, there's something there in this process that's going to teach him the truth about his partner. Okay, what is what is the truth? It is a fated event for him to learn this. Show me what's the truth about this Empress. Hmm. There's an element of greed coming up here because he's noting that they had everything. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. They had everything. There's a notion to um, possible partying here. Okay. Was there anything with the Three of Cups in particularly? Because, yeah, it can mean an affair, but show me. Okay. Yeah, affair. They're noting someone that had to be chosen between. So there was, there was three people here. Okay, there's three people here. This is this is going to be a ego blow for this masculine because he he made sure to cultivate proper life. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, proper life. He worked his ass off for this. He showed up. He did. He showed up. I'm hearing that now. I have to start all over. How much is this going to cost me? Uh huh. Divorce is expensive, my dude. So, tuck and roll the best you can. <laughs> okay. Let me see if I can get a real something real quick. Hmm. Can you show me what his first impression of Aries is? Uh huh. He's he's trying to hold back and yeah. Kind of has the general view of all women are a certain kind of way, but there's something in in interacting with you that puts an end to that manifesto of his. Okay, there there it there is, because he's disappointed and sad and he's guarded. Right, he could be a little bit on the reserve side. Um, we have Virgo and fixed energy here for those keeping track. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Okay. Um, so interacting with you puts an end to his thought process of all women are this way. He knows he needs to heal after he interacts with you. So if you, this would be a great time for you to share. Yeah, you know, I've been through this, this, and this. And I noticed in this journey, I found that these things help me meditation, exercise, whatever it is that is your thing. And this conversation helps him kind of ground a little and see his next steps a little more clearly. Okay, so it's worth having the conversation. It is a soul bond. It is, it is one that's coming in as a burning dumpster fire because of his whole situation, poor guy. Because he showed up for his marriage. He did. He showed up for his marriage. And he got shafted pretty hard. In the midst of you cultivating rest, recoup, strengthening of your, of your inner self. Okay. So it looks like he may learn from you here. Okay. Which is beautiful. Okay. Well, then I will head over to the extended. I'll see what's going on with him in his current energy his near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So, if you are interested in any of that information, along with messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you, as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I'll see you guys over there. Bye. Mm -hmm.